Yes, good afternoon. This is Eric Sanders from the Sands Firm PC. And I just want to talk a little bit about the Sterling matter out in LA with the LA Clippers. You know, we may not agree necessarily with everything he says, but we still have a constitution and you're allowed to have freedom of thoughts as long as you're not harming others. In this case, it doesn't seem like he's harming others. He has a team who's viable, he's playing as players. The main thing I wanted to focus on is about his property rights. Because you don't agree with his views doesn't mean that we get to stamp or trample on anyone's constitutional right, and that includes Mr. Sterling. He still has a right as a property owner to receive full value for his team, irrespective of whether or not the NBA owners decide, according to their constitution, on whether or not they can relieve him of his team. If they relieve him of his team, he still has to receive fair market value. So for all those that believe that, oh, somehow his property should be taken from him, again, if we don't agree with his views, Donald Sterling is still one of us. He's one of every one of us, and just as someone could take his property, it's the same thing can happen to us. So out of all the controversy, irrespective of whether or not he remains an owner, he should receive fair market value for his team, irrespective of his personal feelings. My personal view on this matter is, if the players and all these people are so concerned about his views or other owners closing off the market to African Americans, I think we have enough talent in the talent pool in the National Basketball Association then create our own league just like Donald Trump tried to do to the USFL and then that way we could create our own wealth too as well. Thank you for your time.